Number 6275. United States of America and United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, on behalf of Jamaica. Exchange of notes constituting an agreement relating to the Peace Corps program. Kingston, the 15th and the 22nd of February 1962. Official text, English. Registered by the United States of America on the 2nd of August 1962. Etats unis d'Amérique et Royaume Uni de Grande Bretagne et de Finlande du Nord, et du nom de la Jamaïque. Echange denotes constituent UN accord relative AU programme du Peace Corps. Kingston, 15 at 22 February 1962. Text officiel anglais. In register par les états unis d'Amérique le 2A out 1962. 128 United Nations, Treaty Series 1962. Number 6275. Exchange of notes constituting an agreement one between the United States of America and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, on behalf of Jamaica, relating to the Peace Corps program. Kingston, the 15th and the 22nd of February 1962. I. The American Consul General to the Jamaican Premier and Minister of Development. Number 1 Kingston, February 15, 1962. Honorable Premier. I have the honor to refer to recent conversations between representatives of our two governments and to propose the following understandings with respect to the men and women of the United States of America who volunteer to serve in the Peace Corps and who, at the request of your government, would live and work for periods of time in Jamaica. 1. The government of the United States will furnish such Peace Corps volunteers as may be requested by the government of Jamaica and approved by the government of the United States to perform mutually agreed tasks in Jamaica. The volunteers will work under the immediate supervision of governmental or private organizations in Jamaica designated by our two governments. The government of the United States will provide training to enable the volunteers to perform more effectively these agreed tasks. 2. The government of Jamaica will accord equitable treatment to the volunteers and their property, afford them full aid and protection, including treatment no less favorable than that accorded generally to nationals of the United States residing in Jamaica, and fully inform, consult and cooperate with representatives of the government of the United States with respect to all matters concerning them. The government of Jamaica will exempt the volunteers from all taxes on payments which they receive to defray their living costs and on income from sources outside Jamaica, from all customs duties or other charges on their personal property introduced into Jamaica for their own use at or about the time of their arrival, and from all other taxes or other charges. One came into force on the 22nd of February 1962 by the exchange of the said notes. 130 United Nations, Treaty Series 1962. Including immigration fees, except license fees and taxes and other charges included in the prices of equipment, supplies, and services. 3. The Government of the United States will provide the volunteers with such limited amounts of equipment and supplies as our two governments may agree are needed to enable the volunteers to perform their tasks effectively. The government of Jamaica will exempt from all taxes, customs duties, and other charges, all equipment and supplies introduced into or acquired in Jamaica by the government of the United States, or any contractor financed by it, for use hereunder. 4. To enable the government of the United States to discharge its responsibilities under this agreement, the government of Jamaica will receive a representative of the Peace Corps and such staff of the representative and such personnel of United States private organizations performing functions hereunder under contract with the government of the United States as are acceptable to the government of Jamaica. The government of Jamaica will exempt such persons from all taxes on income derived from their Peace Corps work or sources outside Jamaica, and from all other taxes or other charges, including immigratai on fees, except license fees and taxes and other charges included in the prices of equipment, supplies, and services. 
The government of Jamaica will accord the Peace Corps representative and his staff the same treatment with respect to the payment of customs duties or other charges on personal property intro. Dipped into Jamaica for their own use as is accorded personnel of comparable rank or grade of the consular mission of the United States in Jamaica up to the date of Jamaican independence and, after that date, the treatment accorded personnel of comparable rank or grade of the diplomatic mission of the United States in Jamaica, and will accord personnel of United States private organizer tie-ins performing functions here under the same treatment with respect to the payment of customs duties or other charges on personal property introduced into Jamaica for their own use as is accorded volunteers here under. 5. Appropriate representatives of our two governments may make from time to time such arrangements with respect to Peace Corps volunteers and Peace Corps programs in Jamaica as appear necessary or desirable for the purpose of implementing this agreement. The undertakings of each government herein are subject to the availability of funds and to the applicable laws of that government. I have the further honor to propose that, if these understandings are AC acceptable to your government, this note and your government's reply note concurring therein shall constitute an agreement between our two governments which shall enter into force on the date of your government's note and shall. Number 6275 132 United Nations, Treaty Series 1962 Remain in force until 90 days after the date of the written notification from either government to the other of intention to terminate it. Except, Honorable Premier, the renewed assurance of my highest consideration. A. Uh, G. McGregor. Honorable Premier and Minister of Development Kingston, Jamaica. 2. The Jamaican Premier and Minister of Development to the American Consul General. Office of the Premier Kingston, Jamaica. February 22, 1962 Dear Sir I have the honor to refer to your note of the 15th of February 1962, and to inform you that on behalf of the government of Jamaica I accept the following understandings with respect to the men and women of the United States of America who volunteer to serve in the Peace Corps and who, with the approval of your government, will live and work for periods of time in Jamaica. See note. I have the further the honor to accept your proposal that your note and this note in reply shall constitute an agreement between our two governments which shall enter into force on the date of this note and shall remain in force until 90 days after the date of the written notification from either government to the other of intention to terminate it. Accept, sir, the renewed assurance of my highest consideration. N. W. Manley Premier and Minister of Development. Robert G. McGregor, Esquire, United States Consul General in Jamaica Kingston. Number 6275. 134 United Nations, Treaty Series 1962. 3. The Jamaican Premier and Minister of Development to the American Consul General. Office of the Premier Kingston, Jamaica February 22, 1962. Dear Mr. McGregor, I refer to my note dated the 22nd of February 1962, dealing with the supply of Peace Corps volunteers to Jamaica. You will wish to know that in concluding this agreement with the government of the United States, the government of Jamaica is acting with the AU authority and consent of Her Majesty's government in the United Kingdom. I shall be glad if this note is regarded as supplemental to my note dated the 22nd of February 1962. Yours sincerely, N. W. Manley Premier Mr. Robert G. McGregor Consul General of the United States of America. Number 6275 Number 